Alright guys, so I'm pretty excited about this video today because this video is going to be for the cup holder and rod holder that goes on the GTX and the Fish Pros. I've always said that all I'm missing is a cup holder and now they've made one for the GTX. Here are your product numbers for the cup holder. The cup holder can go the left or the right but you're going to need to order different mounts. The support accessories, this is for the front right, and that's the part number. And this is for the front left, as you can see, FL. The mount that holds it, where to go to get the instructions. Remember, any parts or accessories that you need to install on any c you will have to go to www.instructions.brp.com. And here are the cup holders. Lovely cups, drinks, water, cans of whatever can go in there. And it feels like it'll hold it in there even if you're on some chop. So before we start this installation, I wanted to show you the tools that you're going to need. You're going to need to print out the templates that are on www.instructions.brp.com website. Um, look for the product number and then print out the template. You're also going to need some drill bits um, to drill the holes. Now I only went up to, it says that you need a 3 8 and you're going to need a T30 bit star bit for removing the side panels and I'm using a 5 16 hex head um, ratchet. You're also going to need a flathead screwdriver unless you have a rivet remover and some trusty scissors to cut that lovely outline. Unscrew both of those screws with the T30 bit. I'm just going to use a flathead because I don't know where my rivet remover is at. I have one and it makes it so much easier. That's all. Don't damage it unless you have extras. is. Now we should be able to just supposedly pop it off. Just open that first. Opening that would help and then just pull it. That's it. So to make sure you're installing this in the right spot, Underneath it'll say left hand or right hand you see LH that's so you don't make a mistake of installing it on the wrong side or even cutting the templates on the wrong side. All right I'm gonna remove the right panel remember all you do is just pull it out from the bottom right here a little bit from the top lift up and then pull backwards pull backwards okay as you see these tabs right here are what holds it in place and then the screw and the rivet. And it doesn't hurt to have some masking tape or painter's tape or whatever. There's three pieces that you're going to need to print out. You have the one that goes on the top and I can just reverse it. But they printed out a B and a C template. I'm just going to use, as you can see they're different even when you flip them upside down, one's bigger than the other. For the B template and the C template, the B template is for the left side, left hand side, and the C template is for the right hand side. I cut the holes out in the template, and as you can see, there's a little notch right there. That's how you know exactly where it's supposed to go, and it's on there for you to cut out. And the little nipple that goes, um, that slides right through the hole. Some people like to drill big holes immediately, but I like to drill little tiny pilot holes, then step them up. So we'll end up stepping up all the way to the one quarter. Right. Drill it right directly in on the bullseye. No bullseye 
I don't know why they didn't pr have two sets of these, but they only gave one, so you just invert it. if you'd like. All right, so the pilot holes are drilled. Now I'm going to drill on the rest. Now a bigger one. That's your preference on how you want to do it, but that's just how I do it. All right, the final drill bit to put the hole in, and then we can screw it on using the quarter. All right, now we're done drilling the holes. We can rip this off. We won't need them anymore. And there you go. You got your your holes. We got our pieces here now. You're going to make sure they're heat lined up perfectly. Um, they should be, especially if you use the template. And then the other one that goes on the bottom right here. So remember I was telling you, you have a socket wrench with a hex socket on the top and I'm using a 5 16th and it already has a built-in washer on these screws so you want to put them in by hand first you see how they just slide right in I probably didn't even need to use the, well yeah I think the I didn't have to go up 3 8 but I think the quarter was great so I'm gonna line them up putting it in by hand each one. You're going to have to screw it directly into the plastic piece, which is the accessory mount. There's not going to be a nut that's on the other side. So I'll tighten them evenly. muscle into it. They give you torque specs. You can use torque specs to your liking in the instructions. But I just do them just tight enough. There you go. This is the piece I was telling you about. Screws directly into the plastic. how there's not much for the um, socket bit to go over it so it keeps on sliding y'all might have good tips on how to prevent that from happening and if you do have a good tip comment down below let me know okay all right so you're gonna slide it in to put it back in you see how this right here at the top you see how this has a, like a little J shape you have to slide it down inward and then go like that. Okay. If I can even remember how to even put it on. There it is. And it's right on top. And ta-da! It is on. Now all we need to do is put our screws back in and our rivets. So we're going to put this one in by hand. Put that one in by hand. Make sure they line up, which they should. Use your T30 bit. You can do it with a ratchet if you want, but I like to make my life a little easier and just lightly tap on it. That's it. And 
then you put your rivets in. Put that piece first. Line it up. And just slide that in. Put the other one. Put that in here. And put that in there. And ta-da! It's back to being assembled. All right, to put the cherry on top, the cup holder. All you do is put it right here in the hole. And there you go. And it's in there. So I already did the left side. And all you need to do is repeat what I showed you on the right side on the left side. It's magic, huh? Y'all didn't even see me do the left side yet. If you like this video, make sure you like. And if you have any comments, ca comment down below. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure you smash that subscribe button. And until next time, see y'all on the water.